I'm Jill here. Welcome to my channel. We're having a wig chat today and this wig chat is brought to you by Wigs by Patty's Pearls. They were kind enough to send me this wig to share it with you all. All right, so you have no idea how hard it is for me not to put these on my head before I do these wig chats. It's my favorite way though. I like to give you guys my overall first impression. Just so you know, even if I'm sent a wig, I am going to be very honest. And I always let whoever I'm working with at the time know that, that I am going to be very honest with my viewers. You are the most important thing to my channel without you. I wouldn't have much of a channel, would I? So it's really important to me that you understand that. All right, we're taking a look at a bell truss wig as the title states. This is a bell truss. This is Caliente in Butterbeer Blonde. Now, if you're wondering what I have on my head right now is Going Places by Raquel Welch in the color Shaded Biscuit. All right, let's take a look at Caliente. Let's look at the cap first. So here's the cap, machine wefted. We do have a really soft extended nape. The ear tabs do also have some soft velvet. I would say the tabs themselves, the, the metal stays are a little weak. They are, they're not as firm as maybe what you're used to from a John Renault or a Raquel Welch, but uh, we'll see if that poses a problem. And we also have a closed cap on this side with some permities. I can tell you right now it doesn't feel like much. And also we have the left side monofilament part with a lace front. Now Belle Tress has in the past at least done lace fronts really nicely. So we'll take a look at that. And at least you have an option of seeing scalp on that left side where you will need to part this one. So, you know, you do have some stretch not a ton but there is some stretch here these are not the velcro kind of tabs these are more of the bra strap kind but you still can adjust them about a half inch either way so uh keep that in mind so i'm going to pull out my own hair a little bit and i do have uh some gray in my hair but i really think it it'll blend kind of nicely with this color i think that's always nice if you're a little gray too around that hairline there. Yes, let's Ooh. take a look though. Okay, so I want to go ahead and break up real carefully. Kind of break up this crisscross part. Get that going. Did I get it? So let me make sure I have this straight. I feel like I am. Okay, so I'm gonna tell you right now that I'm gonna always put my measurements down below in the description box. And I have to say that these tabs are coming down quite a bit lower than an average size in say John Renault. And so, you know, I do have excellent coverage, mind you, because these tabs are coming pretty low. Um, but because of that, this is mushing up to in sort of the back of my ear here. So I have a wig grip on, on. So I'm going to pick it up and I'm going to set it on that wig grip. Um, so you don't want that in the back of your ear. That's very uncomfortable. And then on top of that, if you are wearing glasses, you got to be able to slip your glasses comfortably behind there as well. So you don't want your wig crunched up in the back of your ear, which does happen with me more often than not yeah let me here's that left side mono part from here to here so it's not the most generous part but you do have it let me, let me take a look at something here okay so we do have that but i have to say that the density is great everywhere but it is a little more than I like where they have the monofilament because you look, you really can't see too much of that monofilament in there, but it is there. I just like to see a little less dense, I think. But as for the density of the overall wig here, it feels nice, it feels light. 
So don't think that it's a, a real heavy density all over. So that lace front, let's take a look at that. Now we have a lot of really nice light highlighting going on right around that hairline, which means those knots are gonna be very hard to see. The darker knots are a little easier to see. Um, and there's a remedy for that though. So this lace front goes all the way just from here to here. And I do feel like I have this just the tiniest bit crooked. So the lace front stops right here. But these are sewn in straight right away. So it, you still get a really nice kind of realistic look there on the sides where that lacing does stop. This, this is a very pretty wig. It's very pretty. Okay. The length is kind of nice. Kind of grazes the shoulders on me. I don't have a particularly long neck at all, but that's nice. Hopefully the breakdown will kind of occur a little less when it's this length. So I'm going to do a spin for you. It just, it's really, it's nice. It's light, um, some great movement. These fibers are really nice. They're very natural. Like I said, I would say so far, my only thing would be I would like to see just sort of less of it right just through here. So I can see a more realistic part there. So this is a heat friendly fiber. You could technically do something to this regarding heat. You could put a little more curl into it. Maybe you want to straighten it a little bit. You could do that. I don't know why you would. I mean, you know, I, I'm assuming if you were attracted to this style, it's because of the, the pretty sort of waves that's in, that are in here. But, you know, say there's a side that's acting really strange with the particular one you have. Well, you can try to deal with that with some heat. I wouldn't go over 280, 280 degrees. You can technically go up to 350 degrees. However, I've never had to go up that high. So, But being heat friendly, you're going to have a very realistic kind of shine. You don't have to worry about dry shampoo. And with a blonde, that is really great. Um, so don't have to worry about that. It just really kind of looks like very healthy hair. You know, it looks like healthy, healthy hair, not too shiny, doesn't have that sort of synthetic-y shine to it at all. Really, really pretty. The other thing about heat friendly fibers that I love is the denier, they, they look, they move, they feel close to human yeah. hair. They, they really, it, this fiber feels as close to human hair as you can get, These, this nice heat friendly fiber. But just know that heat friendly fibers are delicate. They're even more delicate than your regular synthetic. So they need extra special attention and babying. And uh, they give you Beltress, like John Renault heat friendly fibers, HD fibers. Beltress will give you one of these for free with your heat friendly wig. Not your synthetics, the ones that, that can't take heat, but the ones that can, you will get one of these in your box. This is a wide tooth comb slash pick and they just highly recommend that you do not use anything else on these delicate fibers. So, I mean, this is already a nicely sort of broken up wave, but you by all means can run this through it. You can sort of break that up even more. You know, and you can add some product, you can add spray gel to it to kind of crunch it up and give it a, a little bit more of a, I don't know, an edgier look to it. So my favorite hairspray, I highly recommend putting something, some sort of hairspray in your wigs 
for no other reason is it will help to quell these sort of little flyaways that occur that you really, no matter what you have to deal with, with being a wig wearer. But putting some product like a hairspray on there is going to help that. Uh, this is my favorite one that's made specifically for fibers like this, for your synthetic fibers. Totally fine to use on an HD fiber. It's by Beauty Mark and it's called Style and Hold. Why am I? Okay. It's called Style and Hold Hairspray by Beauty Mark. And it is an, a pump. It's a little wet and it's a little sticky, but it does a pretty dang good job at replicating as close as possible a hairspray that you probably are used to using on your own hair. So maybe with a wig like this, I'll, I'll just kind of, you know, do it around the perimeter a little bit and uh, let this kind of do its thing. It's behaving very nicely. These are nicely razored out here at the ends. Very, just very believable. The density all through here, the way it feels is very light and wispy, but not overly so to where you're maybe a little afraid you can see into the wefts, into the cap. It's, it's very nice. This one was definitely worth the wait. This has a really nice kind of up and over side swept bang, um, a, a length that I actually really like. I would love to compare this color just really quickly with Shaded Biscuit because I think this is definitely brighter than Shaded Biscuit, but let's just sort of take a look at this. I definitely think Shaded Biscuit is a beigier blonde than this. I mean, this is brighter, and I think that there are very similar colors being used with both of these colors. So this is brighter. They're both cool. So if the dark root of Shaded Biscuit bothers you, this might be a good option if you're looking at Belle Tress uh, because this is a, a much softer root. It's not root and then blonde, which I think I think this does a very good job at, at sort of blending that in as well. It might. But yeah, that's really interesting, kind of just to kind of get a good look at those colors together. And now, just because I want to be sure that we, at least since I can't go outside, I'm gonna shut off one of my sort of box lights that are meant to be softening. It's a soft light, but I wanna shut that off. I just wanna see what it does here with the color. So yeah, what I'm seeing when I shut that light off is that you're allowed to see a little bit more of the dimension, I think, of this color. Because there is highlights and lowlights in this color. It's definitely not just sort of a platinum bleach blonde look. And hopefully that didn't, uh, it didn't look that way even with this soft light on. But it is, it is beautiful. It does have some gorgeous dimension to it. Not getting a, a lot of fallout or anything. It is just... Really an easy wear, very, very pretty. There you have it. This is Caliente by Beltress in the color Better Beer Blonde. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. It's no mystery There's no getting around it When you're here, when you're here We got chemistry We like